what's up everybody? Today we're talking about this adapter, filter, mount, whatever you want to call it, right here. This is the Mikey drop-in filter mount adapter. So it adapts EF or EFS lenses to EFM mount cameras, like this M5 or the M50 or the M6 or the M3 or the M. A defunct camera mount now, they're not making these cameras anymore, it's been replaced by the R mount, um, but we'll get into some more cameras that you can get these adapters for a little later on in the video. But what is this lens mount uh, drop-in filter adapter thing? It's probably one of the most useful things I've ever used on any camera for anything, and I have a lot of camera gear. I've been sent a lot of stuff over the years and for me to say that about one piece of equipment it must really be cool and it is. So we've got our camera body here, we've got our EFS lens here. This is the EFS 10 to 18 millimeters so a very very wide angle lens that I use for vlogging. So that's the adapter that goes onto the camera. So your EF lens mounts to the adapter. You can remove it there just like you were removing it from uh, Canon DSLR. Then the mount itself mounts onto the camera just like an EFM lens would. So that's the adapter right there. That's my Canon M5. We're going to put that over here. So this is the Mikey drop-in filter mount adapter and it kind of looks like any other autofocus lens adapter that you would get from Mikey or any other mount manufacturer, but this one has one big difference and that it accepts these drop-in filters. So regular autofocus adapter, you've got your pins here to communicate with the lens, then you've got your pads here to communicate with the camera body, so you're getting full autofocus, aperture control, all the data that the lens would normally be sending to the camera it's happening through this. But it's got this gap in the side. You can see it right there. And that's where these filters slide in. And they lock into place and then they're internal to the lens mount. The filter that I have in here right now is a variable ND and you can adjust it by turning this dial. So this filter does ND3 to ND500, so a very wide range for a variable ND filter. So what that means is I can mount this on the camera body and then any EF or EFS lens that I want to use, I don't have to change filters. So if I'm doing something where I want to use a really wide aperture in bright light, like long exposure photography, whether it's nature stuff or whether it's I shoot some motorsports, which I couldn't really do here, but I went out and took a picture of a car just kind of driving by and uh, did a shutter drag uh, as it went by. You can do that with fast aperture lenses with this filter because you're able to control all your camera settings, but then bring the image, bring the exposure down just with a filter, which is really, really helpful. Now the other thing that's really helpful for in video is being able to shoot with a fast lens with a large aperture in bright light. So I did some of that at uh, the local Hallmark movie street. I don't know, they film a lot of Christmas movies in this part of town. So you're able to shoot video with a fast lens wide open in really bright sunlight in the middle of the day and keep all your camera settings where you want them. That also comes in handy when you're vlogging, which I did a little vlogging test, let's cut to that now. So I think the nicest thing about this setup, especially for vlogging, is if you like a certain um, shutter speed and a certain aperture, there we go. If you like a certain shutter speed and a certain aperture and a certain ISO, you definitely need a filter because if you have your shutter speed too slow or your aperture too wide, you're gonna be overexposed, but you want your ISO as low as possible to get the best quality image, especially in video with digital cameras. Um, this filter, right now it's set just about at its brightest. That's at its brightest, so you can see it's overexposed. So if I wanna dial that exposure in, I think I like it right about there. It might still be a hair overexposed, 
but I don't have to change any camera settings. I can just adjust the filter and it goes really dark, really bright, and then somewhere where I like it, where I can maintain some highlights and not blow my exposure. I probably shouldn't be wearing sunglasses while I'm trying to set my exposure. Um, yeah, it's such a cool, cool piece of gear to have that filter built into an autofocus adapter. It opens up a whole range of lenses to uh, the EFM system. Okay, so this adapter is available for more than just this particular lens mount. I wrote it down here somewhere. Excuse my professional prep here. Uh, it's available for obviously the Canon EFM mount, so EF lenses to EFM. It's available for EF to um, the new R, Canon R series of cameras. It's available for Sony E mount, EF to E mount, EF to Nikon Z mount, or Z if you're nasty. I don't think it's available for Fuji. Uh, I wasn't able to find it, which is kind of disappointing because I do shoot Fuji predominantly. Um, I do quite a bit of video with Canon like I'm doing here, but it would be nice to have a Fuji option. If I'm missing it, I don't know. I couldn't find it on their website, so maybe it exists, maybe it doesn't, but that's fine. Uh, this whole kit is uh, 159 US dollars. It comes with the adapter and it comes with that ND filter and then it comes with this case which also has just a UV filter in it so if you don't want to use um, a variable ND or something else you can fill that gap with this guy right here just a clear UV filter which is handy to have and this uh, little case to keep it in there are I believe I counted 19 filters available for this system um, anything from color filters to um, ND filters at set values to circular polarizers. You can buy a set with this adapter. They call it a full set and it comes with 13 filters. I counted more than 13 filters on their website, so maybe I'm missing something, but regardless, uh, you can really fill this system out. And like I said, the beauty of that is you can put any lens on this mount and not have to worry about changing filters on the front of the lens because you know filter thread sizes vary so wildly from one lens to the next you're using adapter rings you're having to take it off put it on it's already in the adapter so if you know that you're going to need an nd filter for like a whole sunny day of shooting and a bunch of different circumstances you're all set up and ready to go. It's in the adapter. You can use any lens you want. Okay, so overall, I mean, I really love this thing. I do. But there are two things that kind of drive me crazy about it. They're very minor things, but they're things nonetheless. And uh, I wouldn't be a good reviewer if I didn't talk about them. The first thing is, it's a little wide. So you can see here, it gets in the way of the grip of this camera. And I don't have, like, gigantic hands or anything. So, you know, my hands are up against here but I don't know if there's anything they can do about that just because of the structure of the mount and having to have that filter on the inside. It does make the, the flange a little wider on the, the back here or the, the width of the adapter. So I don't know, it is what it is. Um, I can work around that. The other thing is the resistance of the wheel that you use to adjust the filter. It could be a little tighter it could have a little bit more resistance it's kind of loose and easy to um, knock out of position it does feel nice like it's a geared wheel um, but there could be like a little bit of dampening there maybe or something but again for 159 usd with two filters and the fact that it's also an autofocus adapter i can kind of live with those two things i wish they were a little better but at the end of the day they're definitely not deal breakers so um, shout out to Mikey for sending me this adapter. They're not paying me to make this video, but they did send me the adapter and the filters for free. So take that with a grain of salt when you're watching this review. I did get something free, so I'm going to tell you what I don't like about it, but I mean, overall, this thing's pretty cool and I am absolutely going to use it all the time. All right, guys, that's been it. Um, I don't know what other videos I have coming up. I sort of never know these days. I just make them when I make them and 
hope you guys show up. So appreciate all of you. Uh, have a great day. Hope you're staying safe wherever you are and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.